most of us is all like we normally do at the first of the year. Decide we're going to try to start eating better. We all feel guilty because of Christmas and blah, blah, blah. And yet want to still be able to, let me do this while I'm talking. And want to still be able to enjoy good comfort food. And so this is something that I do that I've actually snuck it in with my husband in the first time I ever did it. And we've done it for probably two or three years now. But it's uh, fried potatoes, but they're ten times healthier for you. So I'll show you what I do. What I'm going to do right now is I put, I'm using my cast iron skillet, and I put part, I put maybe, I don't measure this, but I put probably a third of olive oil to, um, not a cup, not a third of a cup, just a third amount, if I balanced it out, to uh, coconut oil. And that's why I'm frying it in. So therefore, it's not vegetable oil. It's not bad for you like fried potatoes would be. So let me get this set up and then I'll come right back. Okay, as you can see, I've got my um, olive oil in there and I put some coconut oil in there too. I kind of split it off the eye because it was getting too hot. But um, let that melt down. Now the next thing I'm going to do is I am going to peel me some um, two potatoes. It's just me and my husband. And I'm going to peel me two potatoes. And I have a cabbage head here, which I'm going to use probably the majority of this cabbage head. And I'm going to slice all that up and I will get right back with you again. Alright, I want to show you how small these potatoes are. See, they're not big potatoes. They're smaller than my hand. So that's the potatoes I'm actually going to use in this. And that's all. That's all the potatoes I'm going to use. You know, we all... Potatoes is probably one of our biggest weaknesses when it comes to a supper meal. But... And I just cube these up. No major thing done here. Just like, however you would do it if you were making fried potatoes. And I, you know, it maybe not be something that a lot of people do, but in the South, that's, fried potatoes is a big thing. Throwing them in there. That's still a little warm. Sorry, when you're messing with the camera and all that stuff, you trying to get your eye hot and all that fun stuff, you tend to get your eye too hot. Anyway, and now I'm taking the cabbage head. This has already been pre-washed, and I'm just cutting it up, and this is like a half of a cabbage head compared to those two little potatoes that you just seen, and I do a rough chop on it, no major nothing, because it's going to shrink up anyway by the time you put it in your skillet. See, that's a bunch of cabbage right there, and I ain't even done, but you know, cabbage, it cooks down. Stick that in there. Now... If I don't have a meat that I'm going to actually use, I have been known to put kielbasa sausage in this, which is very, very good. That's a meal in itself, all by itself. But um, sometimes I've chopped onions up and put in it. You can do all kinds of different things. You know, add what you want to to it. But if you're just looking for a side dish of potatoes, You can make this, and you have nowhere near the potatoes in it. Put that back on this side again. Now I'm going to add, how we got all this you see. Mm, how y'all feel? The one I was wanting to use is in the dishwasher, wouldn't you know? But I'm going to salt and pepper this, guys with you something else that I'm going to put in in mine today because like I said sometimes I change it up just whatever I'm in the mood for that day but uh, these are cayenne that I dried in my garden a couple years ago and I'm going to take a small one of these I probably won't even use the whole one just because I don't want too much heat and I'm going to put it in my uh, coffee grinder here to chop this up Okay, I chopped that up, and I'm going to put that in my um, 
potato cabbage. So looky there, see it's coming down. That just gives it a little bit of heat. See that char on there? I love the char. So that's giving us a little heat on top of that. That's going to be some good stuff, people. See how much that cooked down? It cooked down a lot. Would you look at that? Would you look at that? Don't that look good? I love that little bit of cayenne in there. I also like a little bit of cayenne in my uh, collard greens, if you know what I mean, Mr. Essayon. So, I'm fixing to do me a taste. As you know, as you've seen, I'm sure I have to taste my food as I'm going. That's just who I am. My husband gets on to me over it, but I really don't care. But I gotta taste it. Anyway, thank you guys. Bless you guys. I hope you enjoyed this and give this a try. Just add what you want to and don't add what you want to. You don't have to put that cayenne in there. It's not set in stone that's got to be in there because I don't do it sometimes either. Just whatever I'm in the mood for that day.